Hey everyone, how's it going? No, this is definitely not my rigs. All these rigs are owned by someone you probably know behind the scenes from the Misfit Mining Channel. Chump Change talks about him all the freaking time, like he's the best thing since sliced bread. Guess what? He probably is. And here's the man, Rondi. So the reason today we're over at Rondi's is, as you can see, he has a lot more GPUs and a lot more variation than I have. I'm very small compared to him. I mean, he's got a 13 GPU rig here. He's got another one hiding down here. He's got more down here. He's even got an ETH ASIC off to his side. We can go on for a while, but basically I needed the variation so I can try out this new product that I just got. It came from Elmore Labs. And it's this little board right here. It has three PCIe power inputs and outputs, and also EPS 12 volts, two of them input and output. This is used to get true wattage, either from a GPU or a CPU. This is great for when you're actually tuning, especially when you're doing AMD cards, because if you've done any tuning on AMD cards, you know in software the wattage is completely wrong. NVIDIA, they're usually really good. They're good within a few watts. So we're gonna do a comparison of that. And I also wanna try, he has a bunch of 3080s, 3060 Ti's, he has everything here. So we're gonna hook it up to a few cards and run this through his paces and compare it to what the software is reading and just see how good this, this product uh, functions. So what we're gonna start with first as Rondi's disconnecting is an EVGA 3080. We wanna check this out because it has three PCIe power inputs, which will be perfect to test all three of the VGA connectors on here. Get the readings from that. Then we're gonna swap over to a Founders Edition 3080 that only has two PCIe's. So give him a second. We're gonna get this set up and check it out. Okay, so Rondi's got this hooked up to the EVGA 3080 sitting right here. We have two main power inputs here. PCIe 1 is running to the riser on the bottom. Now this board combines the second two PCIe inputs into one output. Those two are feeding to all three connections on the top of the card. So this way we can split them between it. The whole card right now is pulling 250 watts, roughly. If we hit this button on the side, since this has a GPU and a CPU side, right now it's just showing the full GPU. Click it again, just CPU, which is zero. Click it again. Now we're reading the power going through PCIe 1, which in this case is the riser. And we can see 1.5 amps, 18 watts. That's it on the riser at 12.1 volts. So let's switch over to PCIe 2, which is all the power feeding through the PCIe, PCIe 6 pins on the top here. Now we can see 19, almost 20 amps. The refresh rate is insane on this thing. And about 235, 236 watts at 12.1 volts. Now, if you don't touch this at all, it will go into an auto cycle and it will go through every single setting, but you can always manually control it. So let's go back. Full power on this board right now, about 250 to 255 watts. Now this is GPU seven on this rig. Rondi's already got the information here on the screen. And Rondi, if you can point out GPU seven for us, what's it pulling? It's pulling 229 watts. 229 watts versus 255. So that's what? Roughly a 25 watt difference discrepancy between software on an NVIDIA card, an EVGA. So let's try this again with one of the Founder Editions 3080 and see if it has the same type of discrepancy in the software. Okay, so Rondi now has this device switched over to a Founders Edition 3080. And what a big difference. 
not only in total power, but how it distributes the power between the riser and the PCIe cables on top. Let me switch this around here. Okay, first off, full power. About 235 watts. You can see it bouncing around. Let's go with 235. Let's go over to the screen real quick and see. Rondi, which card was it? Number six. Number six? 222. 222. So 222 versus 235. We only have about a 10 watt discrepancy between software and true hardware readings versus the 25 watts we were getting uh, as a discrepancy on the EVGA cards. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Let's switch this to PCIe1, which is the riser. Look at this one. It's pulling 55 watts of that power from the riser versus only what? 18 watts roughly from the riser on an EVGA. Now if we switch this over to PCIe2, 180 watts roughly from your PCIe cables on the top. Now this is why this unit is so good. Basically, EVGA is relying on most of its GPU power through the PCIe cables and almost none through the riser. Whereas the Founders Edition is balancing the power between the riser and the top. That's one reason why they can get away with only having two PCIe connectors on the top versus EVGA's three. So let's randomly pick another card and try this on another unit. Okay, so we moved over to another one of Rondi's rigs and this has a few 3060 Ti's. So let's repeat the same test again. Right now we're hooked up to an EVGA 3060 Ti and then we'll switch over to a Founders Edition 3060 Ti. So right now, we can see we're pulling about 130, let's go with 134 watts, roughly. It's bouncing around. So 134 watts, and he says it's GPU 3. 125. 125, so there's definitely a lot less discrepancy on this one for an EVGA. We're only talking six or seven watts difference. And so let's check between the riser on PCIe 1 and the PCIe power connectors in the top on PCIe 2. So, switch over here. Okay, again, EVGA is only pulling 15 watts from the riser. If we switch over, the bulk of the power is being pulled from the PCIe power connectors, 112 watts. So let's switch it over to a Founders Edition 3060 Ti and see if it spreads the power. Okay, so Rondi now has it switched over to a 3060 Founders Edition right here. And this only has a single plug on the top, whereas the EVGA had two. So let's see where the numbers are on this one. Just two. Full power. Let's go with 122. And 122, and you said it's card 10? Yeah, it's a 115 right now. 115 and 122 so again we're at a 7 watt difference so we're not seeing the same differential on the 3060 ti's that we did with the 3080 so evga while it's still relying mostly on the pcie power on the top here definitely have a better vrm it's reporting better so let's look if the founders edition is still balancing the power out Let's switch over here to e PCIe 1. That's interesting. We're only pulling 18 watts off the riser on the Founders 3060 Ti. And most of the power is being pulled off of the PCIe connectors here on the top. So this one, for some reason, this Founders Edition is not balancing the power out as much. It's all pulling the power from the top. So this is why it's great, again, to kill a dead horse to test all of your cards because even though they're all 3000 series, between individual generations, 3060, 3070, 3080, even the Founders Edition apparently has changed the way they pull power. 
So let's change gears and try this on a few AMD cards. Okay, so Rondi pulled down one of his AMD rigs, and we're going to compare between two 5700 XTs, one being a Gigabyte that we're hooked up to right now, and then a reference edition 5700 XT. So, let's first take a look at the Gigabyte, and we are pulling full power, about 140 watts. Yep, about 140 watts. Now, if we go over to software, we know what to expect with AMD. So GPU six is the one we're looking at. Almost 55 mega hash, only 106 or 105 watts a few seconds ago on software. So we expected that much of a discrepancy. That's normal. So let's take a look at the individual power on it. Okay, PCIe one. Look at the amount of power that that card is pulling off of the riser. 80 to 85 watts. That is over spec. The PCIe 16X slots are only rated for 75 watts. Here's the perfect reason why you should never use SATA risers ever. You're going to burn it up. The rest of the power is actually less. Only 57 watts going through two actually sorry one eight pin and one six pin pcie connection on here this card is actually pulling more power from the riser than this tell me that isn't weird so let's switch over to the reference card will be the last one we test today and see if the reference card uses power a little more judiciously okay so we are hooked up to the reference edition 5700 xt this is also a 8-pin and a 6-pin on top. Okay, and the riser down below. Let's see what we're pulling as of right now. Let's go through all this. 137 watts, roughly. So if we go on over here to Hive OS, he has it at GPU 1. If I can get a little closer, there we go. Uh, 107 watts so about the same amount of discrepancy a few watts closer but still AMD and this one's actually hashing a little bit more at 55.8 mega hash on Ethereum so let's look at the individual powers again on this card okay the riser a little bit better it's almost within spec of 75 watts we're running probably about 77 to 80 watts, so a little bit better, but again, never run these cards on anything but a PCIe connection. Now the rest of it on the top is pulling about 58 watts. So again, that's just really backwards in my thinking. You should be pulling less power from the riser and pulling most of its power from up top. Sort of like how the EVGAs were running with the NVIDIA cards. Um, it's great that the reference editions had the power really balanced and they're all within spec, but at least the EVGAs are pulling the bulk of their power through the extra power connectors, not through the riser. The older 5700 XTs, they're really pushing their luck with the spec on the 16X slot. So that's going to do it for today, the Elmore Labs PMD, or Power Management Device. We didn't try the CPU part, maybe we'll do that on a Raptorium break in the future. But for the time being, I'm going to leave this with Rondi because he has some A2000s coming in soon. We're going to use this to help see how much power it uses. So make sure you subscribe for that video. Everyone say thank you to Rondi for sharing your house and your rigs with us. Thankfully, we didn't blow up anything. <laughs> so I will put relevant links for the Elmore Labs so you can purchase your own if you're interested down in the video description below. Come say hi to Rondi, myself, Chump Change, everyone else over at Mining Misfits Discord. That link will also be down in the video description. And we will catch you on the next video.